What's up guys and welcome to a new video. As you can see, I'm in my little mountain house in the village. And this weekend is the most important day in whole Nepal in the whole year because it's Dasai. It takes a couple of days. That was also the reason why I was shopping and managed everything before Dasai because now everything will be closed and everybody will have holidays. So yeah. And I will take you with me. I will celebrate a little bit with Santosh. There's like special food what is being cooked. So we will try that food. Um, I will explain to you what a dasse is and what it means to the people here. So stay tuned. I would, I would say let's go guys. What is the dasse festival? And I'm going to explain it to you. You can say dasse is the most important festival in whole Nepal. And most of the time it is late September or beginning of October. Dasse festival is the most important festival in whole Nepal. It honors the goddess Durga and celebrates her victory over the demon Mashiashura, symbolizing the triumph of God over evil. Families come together for blessings, worship and feasts, making it a time for unity. Key rituals including receiving the tikka, it's a mixture of rice yogurt and red vermilion placed on the forehead, and jamaha, barley grass, which symbolize blessings for health, protecting and prosperity. Elders place the tikka on the forehead of the younger family members, reinforcing the bonds of the family and tradition. Houses are cleaned and decorated and people buy new clothes, symbolizing purity and new beginnings. So guys, we are at Santos place again and we will now um, try some traditional food for Dasai. It's basically goat and some sweet bread kind of thing. Um, and yeah, and tomorrow is like the tikka ceremony. So today I just try the food and tomorrow we do the ceremony with them. And yeah, so basically most families in Nepal will eat like a goat today. It's like a poor day for all goats in Nepal, but yeah, it's tradition. It was also super funny in Pokhara, you know, I saw like so many people full, the car was full and in the middle was a goat. So last car drive for the goat. And also Lucy super happy, huh? You see, you're happy with the goat. Yeah. Yeah. Also, she got meat. Normally, she's vegetarian dog. Oh, so, guys, we got some homemade kombucha from Santos. It's super good and healthy. Oh, it's really good. I like. So, guys. We got the go no cat, no cat, no cat, no, no, this cat is crazy. This cat wants to steal my food. And now it is like a other thing. But uh, this is basically the goat would like the boil and cook. Um, and now I will try and the cat want to steal, go away cat. Uh, this is called roti, ah, same yeah, roti. This, ah. this is goat. A special name? Uh, masu. Masu. So I'm trying first time masu. Eh? This one I saw already on the street somewhere in Kathmandu. Yeah, yeah they made on temple sometimes, huh? Yeah. yeah. Alright guys, let's try. First time in my life that I eat goat. Good. Mm. 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 Hot, hot. Normally I never eat meat, guys. But I said I have to try it. So guys, I am back at the house. I had traditional Dasai food, a uh, goat and the roti. Yes, it was really good. I have to say I'm not the biggest meat eater, so I just tried a little bit, but it was really nice and I like the tradition they have, you know, it reminds me a little bit of Christmas in Europe. 
where you have like this special food cooked everywhere and yeah really nice and tomorrow we get the blessing and have like uh, maybe the blessings around the house and yeah looking for what but now guys good night and i'll see you tomorrow a few moments later and good morning guys and to all my nepali followers and friends and brothers and sisters happy dasa guys i hope you have a nice and wonderful day with your family i'm also now meeting with my german brother and we're going to santos have breakfast and then we join the ticker ceremony and get a blessing and everything and yeah super excited guys so enjoy this day with your family and yeah from all of my heart happy dasa to all of you so guys we're back at santos place and to prepare tikka for a blessing with what is it made? With rice, huh? Yeah, with mm. rice and corn. Oh. Mm. So, I think in one hour or something, there will be the ceremony. So now let's prepare everything. There's a clean in front of the house to build a little kind of altar. Back there normally is the table, but now they cleaned everything and prepare for the ceremony and the blessing. They also have to watch at astrology to have the right time on the day and everything for the teacup blessing. So it's super interesting and also really interested in astrology. And it's interesting how all over the world it pays a big has a big impact on the culture of the people. And especially here, you know, that they watch the exact time they do it I think at eleven forty five something. And then the ceremony will start and everybody gets a tick and the house gets blessed and so on. So here they go. The offerings already. Here they offer some fruits, like apples and bananas and everything. And it's everything for the ceremony. Now it's like preparation time. What is this? The the chama? How is it called? Mm. What is the name? Jamara. 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 Ah, this is what was going yeah, yeah, yeah. on. Ah, yes. mm. oh, yeah. This guy has to be prepared like a couple of days ago where it was grown in the house. So they prepared mm -hmm. all, together? all the offerings. Yeah, you no. Uh, the after tikka we need tikka. Like 11 the offerings. Tikka make it really nice. Hour, yeah? yeah, let's do <laughs> So guys, I changed my clothes because, because my friend told me I should wear something white and I was completely black so I changed it and in like 15 minutes um, the ticket ceremony in whole Nepal in India starts it's like at 11.36 uh, super crazy to think that in Europe you have nothing like that the special time or something so really nice to experience that mm.
So guys, I also got my blessing from the family. But there's really special, really crazy energy appeal. So yeah, super nice with blessings. Very grateful. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So happy. And with that, guys, the official ceremony is finished. The Dasai Tika ceremony is done. I got my Tika and my blessing from Santosh's father. And yeah, guys, super nice experience. My first Dasai in Nepal. Super happy that I could experience this. And yeah, really nice. Guys, thank you for watching. I hope I see you next time. And I wish you a happy Dasai. Enjoy your holidays, guys. And... See you soon. Bye-bye.